welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a prepping project um put aside project um whatever you want to call it put aside prepping preparedness whatever you want to call it um some sugar in january february of this year i started hearing some rumblings about a shortage in sugar because the something about the beet harvest had been decimated and then i heard in my area one of the main well, one of the big sugar suppliers they actually were laying off workers one location was actually closing down they had lost the lease at a um some sort of deep water dock that they used to get supplies so they were closing down a location and and a whole lot of things were going on. So people were um, stocking up on sugar. So I decided I wanted to beef up on sugar as well. I wanted to add 100 pounds to my supply that I already had, which I already had some. So actually, this is what I found to be the cheapest at BJ's at the time. So I bought four of these. This is the last one I have left to put up. So the, I bought four of those. There's 100 right there. But as the next week at Myers, these went on sale at a really good price. These are actually 99 cents for four pounds. Yeah, four pounds. So it worked out to be actually cheaper than this one was. So I got these and I got another 100 pounds. I couldn't help myself. At that price, why not? It's not like it's going to go bad. So this is how I put it up, put it aside, prep it, put it in whatever. I've got these to do left. And I use Mylar bags. I just wanted to show you. These are oxygen absorbers. This is how I got it from the vendor I bought it from. And I had a project I was doing was actually rice. I'll show you how I do my rice later in another video. But I didn't use all... What is this? Oh, 50. This is the 300. And there's 50 in here. So I show you. You can put them in a mason jar and seal them. And they will, there's no oxygen. I actually used my, my vacuum sealer and sucked out the air out of them. So it wouldn't use up the oxygen absorber to do that. So that's what I did to preserve these. Will they be as good or as strong as these that have never been opened? No, because they've already been exposed to the air somewhat. So I took out what I needed and then immediately sealed these and then sealed my, my actually I was doing rice in a mylar jar. My law bag, so and I put the rest in this jar, so they're sealed. And then next time I do a project like that, I'll use these first and then I'll open up this um, bag of oxygen absorbers. I won't be using this today because this is sugar, so I don't need this unless I want a rock hard brick of sugar, but I don't want that. So I have down here this container and I just opened it. It was probably one of the first ones I ever did in 2016. But as you can see, I left them in the the bag that they come in. I guess, well, I didn't really know any difference at the time. And I didn't have my love bags at the time. But I did get some later in another um, in an order, actually later on that month. Because I see the same month. I have some and they are in mylar bags. So I guess I couldn't wait or I didn't want to wait or whatever. Or maybe I just thought maybe this would be okay. But I don't think so. I don't think it is because, you know, paper will degrade after a while. These have been in here for four years and they're all right. But I just want to change them out to mylar bags. And this is what they look like. I'm going to show you how I seal them up. This is a food grade bucket. Both of them are food grade buckets that I use. And this will fit... Let me see. This will fit four. As you can see four. And there's one on the top. Four. In, and there are eight pounds, as you can see, eight pounds. So I'm going to show you what I do to put all these into Mylar bags. I have my Mylar bag here, and this is a gallon size Mylar bag. I do it like this because if I needed to share these or if I wanted to barter with these, it's better to open up one of these than a big five gallon bag. So this just makes more sense to me than doing a five gallon bucket with a five gallon bag in it. It just makes more sense to me. So 
I'm just going to take my Mylo bag here. And I have two bags of sugar here. Just going to dump them right in. Whoops. I'm just going to try and pull out the creases. Just so it's packed down a little bit more. Try not to spill it. All right, so that's the second one in. So that's eight pounds in there in that one gallon mylar bag. And I'm just gonna let's see how it's creased right here. I just want to try and get all the creases out, it just helps to settle the product down better. And I'm just using a silicone pot rest. And what I have here is a flat iron. Now, I used this once for my hair and never again. So it was brand new when I bought it, used it once. So I cleaned it really good and it goes up to 395. I didn't know if you can see that. 395 it's set to. That's the highest setting it will go. And it works really well. So I'm just resting it here. Rest it on like a cloth or something so it doesn't burn your countertop. So I take the top and just match it up. I try to fold it over a little bit first. It just helps to keep them together. And then just take it and I go along and seal it for like 10 seconds. And it's really hot. So be careful. Don't burn yourself. And I find this is I, a lot better than an iron for me. It gets hotter than an iron. And it just works out better for me. If you want to use an iron, go for it. I find this is really easy for me. So, And that's basically it. It's sealed. It is sealed. And I'll just go along. It's probably about five, 10 seconds, and then I'll just go over to make sure. And then what I'll do is, on the front, in a permanent Sharpie, I'll just write what it is, white sugar, how much is in here, eight pounds, and the date. Month in the year. I guess that's okay. I guess you can pull the full date if that's what you want. Or you can put just sugar. But I actually store a couple of things, a couple of different sugars. So I guess this would be good to put white sugar. I actually store um, brown sugar and um, raw cane sugar. That's what I usually store. So I don't want to open up a raw cane sugar if I need white sugar. So I guess it's good to put white sugar on here. And I'll show you one that I did. Back in 216. So this was back in 216. It's white sugar. Because I know because I took what the pack I took it out of. And I did it the same way. And as you can see, it's steel sealed. There's no leaking. Steel sealed, still fine. Still soft. It's not rock hard. You don't want rock hard sugar unless you want to knock somebody out with it. But yeah, so Great way to seal up your sugar in your Mylar bags using a flat iron. So I'm going to do the rest of these and get them all packed away. And I'm using food grade buckets with the lid. I have some lids with the that are new that have the, the seal still on them. They're good if you don't really need to get into them right away. But I mean, just a regular one that you just put down and you can take off anytime or the gamma ones I actually have an open um, five gallon bucket downstairs that we fill up the kitchen with that's just sugar and it has one of those gamma lids that you just twist on and off if you're having to get in and out of your item but 
I guess you wouldn't be getting in and out of this because it's in a mylar bag. So this is more for long-term storage. So that's how I do my sugar. Thank you very much for watching and you have a great day.